Hey folks, Machine Repeat here, more from the 2019 Farm Progress Show. And I tell you, what I love about coming to the shows are running into businesses with new solutions, doing things a better way. And we got a really cool story to tell you here. This is owner Eli Tr uh, Troyer, right? And Eli, your company, Steps GMS. Steps Grain Management Services. Steps Grain GMS, Management yeah. Services, Eden, Ohio. Right. Now folks, Eli has a very long history on the grain management side of things, grain storage. Eli, why don't you uh, tell us the story here? I started uh, in grain business when Jimmy Carter wanted two years worth of grain storage okay. on every farm, which is yep. 1976, yep. which is over 40 years ago. Uh, built grain systems, grain bins, bucket elevators, grain dryers. Got involved in the grain industry, been in it ever since, over 40 years. And Eli, you had a, a previous company that you owned in the space, AgriDry? AgriDry, yes. AgriDry LLC, we were manufacturing grain spreaders, a gravity grain, rotating gravity grain spreader, and I developed the Bullseye Controller, which is a bin monitoring system that goes on grain bins for monitoring what's in the bin and operating fans and heaters on okay. grain bins, a complete monitoring system. Now, when did you start AgriDry? AgriDry was started as a company in 19... 86. Okay. I had 10 years experience prior to that with called Troyer Millwright Services doing grain bin construction okay. uh, when I started when I was a young man. Is that and where you got the idea for the need for the service for pretty, AgriDry? Pretty much doing, uh, working on things and asking too many questions about <laughs> things and coming up with some ideas and following through with some of those. Now on the topic of asking too many questions, I understand when you were a little tight on the farm, your mom, what she send you to hang out with your uncle and help out, and, and he had that same kind of reaction. Eli, you're asking too many questions. That's pretty much what what he told me. He said, "You just pay attention and watch, and you'll learn a lot." That's what he tried to tell me. Well, you saw a need for AgriDry, built the company, and then sold it not too long ago. What, like three years ago to GSI? Right, that's correct. Sold it to okay. GSI in 19, or excuse me, 2016. Okay. Sold the company of GSI. The products that we made, the grain spreaders, and right. controllers. So, right. sold to them. so now your new company, Steps uh, Grain Management Services here. People, I think maybe have seen you down at Louisville right. uh, last year, and you, you, you're sort of adding on to your offering. Can you walk us through your product and your right. full solution here? Because right. it's really cool. Right. We'll swing around the front of the booth here, folks. Okay, Eli. So this is a switch that hooks up to your fan. Okay. And it has a humidity sensor, temperature sensor attached to the bottom of it. And then there's an app that goes on your smartphone that monitors and you can you, you set the settings on here. So I'm looking at, at this sensor right here. It's telling me it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 72% relative humidity that's coming from here. Okay. So when this is on manual, I can turn it on and turn it off by pushing the button on the switch. So you're letting people manage things right from their pocket, right from their cell phone? Correct. What's yes. happening in the green bin? Okay. When I set it to automatic, I can come here and select humidity or temperature and put in the temperature, in this case humidity, where I wanted to turn on and where I wanted to turn off. Okay. So when it automatic turns on and off when the weather conditions get to where I've got it set for. So obviously we've got some serious advantages here, having that type of control over your bin. Why don't you just run through some of those advantages, Eli? So this would save money on running the fans only even when you need to run, when the humidity is right. You show a couple of things that you save money on electricity because motors, big enough motors on fans need a lot of electricity. You potentially eliminate shrink by running higher humidity sure. air through the grain when it's not shrinking, potentially eliminating spoilage. So when grain goes out of condition in the bin, you've got problems. People get in the bin and get trapped and they die in grain bins. And because of spoilage in grain bins, sure. this sure. potentially can keep grain from spoiling in grain bins, wow. keeping it the right condition in the bin. Okay. And the bin monitor part, which is over here, this is a cable that goes in the bin. The monitors, and we're using something different here. This is a headspace temperature and humidity sensor here, so we're monitoring the space above the grain. So when the fans are running, you're monitoring exhaust temperature and humidity of the air going out of the bin, and that gives you a lot of good information in the bin. Now on that same 
cable, we have a sensor at the bottom of the cable, which gives you grain temperature inside the bin itself. Okay. So we don't use a lot of sensors in the grain because if we know what we have available humidity and temperature outside and run the fan, we can create the moisture of the grain that we want in the bin from a monitoring exhaust temperature and humidity with the sensor here that gives you a lot of good information to make some intelligent decisions on when and how to program the switch to run the fans. And this part of the release of step screen management services, this is the new part that you're just kind of releasing kind of right now, is that Earlier, correct? Or the first part of August of this August? year, a couple weeks okay. ago is when we okay. released the, these parts of it, yes. How and about, we, oh, go ahead. Then we have a plenum sensor that hooks up to the side of the bin. This monitors humidity and temperature underneath the floor in the bin. It's used for low temperature drying where it turns the heater on and off. Supernatural air drying and you have high humidity. And instead of turning the fan off, it will turn the heater on. And this, this bin or plenum sensor program will do that for you and okay. through your app as well. And you manufacture these components right in Eden, Ohio? Eden, Ohio. We do. Okay. We manufacture everything that we have here. Very cool. It's manufactured in our place in Eden, Ohio. So we're talking about giving the grower complete control over all the circumstances and just making more informed decisions plus the cost savings plus, oh my gosh, the safety issue. Absolutely. Wow. Right. It just goes on and on from now, there. And this is, we're talking about grain storage here, but what your system has applications for a kind of a wide... Right. Anywhere, know, anywhere the temperature or humidity is critical as far as monitoring, like in a refrigerator or in a freezer, uh, if you have chemicals stored in a building and you want to keep, uh -huh. make sure, sure the temperature doesn't get too cold in there, you can monitor, or you can turn anything on and off from anywhere with the switch. Didn't you uh, recently have a, a local farmer inquire about the, his chemical storage? He was a guy in Northern Illinois bought switches to put on his grain bins, and he bought another one put in a building so he could monitor the temperature in the building. So his chemical, before he had his chemical stored, right. he was getting ready to put right. to use for his crop production. But also even on the on the dairy side, with dairy side would be confinement buildings where you have humidity or temperature. Uh, I want to monitor the can. You can turn fans on and off automatic through this. Dairy barns or any confinement. Uh, greenhouses is another area that you can use these. Sure. Uh, in a home, you can use if you have an attic or a basement that you want to sure. monitor humidity or temperature and turn something on and off. We have an indoor version that you have a receptor where you just plug in and program it, and it's that you can use it in your home or in so your So you'll office. actually be going after sort of the home market too? That's, my background is grain bins. I've been doing that for over 40 years, so right. I'm focused on that, but that's not to say that you can't do it. Sure. I mean, these products will work in other applications. Just like the farmer with uh, chemical storage, he yeah, brought absolutely. that, yeah. Yep. Like, so we have, I'm amazed at the technology we have available nowadays with headers on combines to keep them out of the dirt with sensors. And when it comes to grain bins, grain storage, we take our finger and stick it in the wind to see which way the, whether to turn the fan on and off, walk up to the bin and flip the switch on it. Where there's technology available here with the steps, automation part that will, uh, can be applied and, and, and really be a, a winner for, for the farm uh, grain elevator out there. Well, Eli, I gotta say here, the time I've been spending at the booth, I've been noticing quite a few folks stopping to visit, want more information. I think, I think you're on to something here. Uh, so now again, you're going to be out, you said you're going to be at Husker Harvest. Husker Harvest in two weeks, okay. yes. And your website, again, it's, for people who uh, want more information. Our website is stepsgms.com, yep. and you can order product online. Uh, you can order, you can call, there's phone numbers on there, contact information. Okay. Get a hold of myself and Tammy, we take orders anywhere, anytime, gotcha. any way we can get them. And this is easy to install, so it's self-installed for the most part. Electrician would do it, and unless you do your own electrical on your own equipment, if that's the case, then you can do this. It's pretty easy, stuff huh? Yourself. It's easy to install. As technical as this is, it's that easy to install. And if wow. you need any help, you got my phone number. You can call me, right. and I'm available. Troubleshooting over the phone if you need to. Side visits are possible. I've done right. some of that, enough of it to know what's we need to make this stuff work. So now, Eli, i got to ask one more question. The name, Steps Grain Management Services, what is Steps for? Steps means to get from here to there, you have to take steps. 
One at a time. One foot in front of the other? One foot in front of the other is where the name steps came from. Well, folks, here we're, there you go, right from the guy, almost 50 years experience in the grain storage business, Eli Troyer. Eli, thank you for your years of service, making better ways and products to help us on the farm, and a very exciting with your new uh, step screen management services business. Uh, thank you for giving us the scoop. Thank you. Ram Trucks, premier vehicle of Machinery Pete TV.